You in a box? Let's go. You and me, 10 rounds. If I win, you leave town. And you don't come back here again. I'm not sure I like that deal. What's wrong? You could pick on James, but you're scared of his big brother? If you tell Joey how you feel about him, it and I'll thank you to stay out of my family's business, little Whoa. Missy. How about you stay out of Star's face? Oh, now you're the tough guy. Instead of when you should be keeping hey. your guard up. My guard is... No, James, stop, stop. That was dumb of me. I shouldn't have talked to him. Hey. Show's over here. And what show would that be? The one where I pummel your face for ten rounds in front of your friends? Or the one where I pummel yours? Not likely. No, there's one reason why you're not going to take this deal. Well... Because you know I'm going to run your ass out of town with your tail between your legs. When Bobby and I got up this morning, you were gone, and it was awesome. We thought we finally got rid of you. Well, Merry Christmas. Daddy's still here. Why do you love Landview so much? Friends, family, what's not to love? He doesn't want to be near you. I don't want to be near you. Law enforcement's itching to bust your ass. So what reason could you possibly have for wanting to stay? Man up, Pops. Let's get this out there once and for all. You and me, until I knock you back to Ohio. Oh, for goodness sake. If you want me to beat the crap out of you for old time's sake, I'm game. Can't he just do the decent thing and leave town without a boxing match? Maybe he didn't want to. Hey, she wasn't talking to you. Sorry. This is so caveman. What if somebody gets hurt? Nobody's gonna get hurt. It's gonna be fine. Fine? It wasn't too long ago you were in the hospital because you were seriously injured from getting a beating. I'm all healed up, okay? Okay, well, shouldn't you be taking it easy? Trust me. It's gonna be easy. In fact, we might even have time to go some dinner when we're done. All right, Dad, let's do this. Huh? Uh, hold it. Uh, you know, I never said that I would fight you now. Why not? Why not, Edward? We can get this over in three rounds if you last that long. I got extenuating circumstances. Like what? You don't have a job here or any friends. You don't know what I got here, boy. Oh, he's just stalling. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Right. You Check know, him. I think we should call scared this whole thing scared of fighting off. somebody that can actually fight you back? I'm scared of you? Not likely. All right, prove it. Listen, if we're gonna do this thing, let's do it right. We need to get a crowd in here. A crowd, huh? Yeah. What's a fight without spectators, gambling, a piece of tail to do the cards? You know, make it worth everybody's while. Unless, of course, you're afraid to let your friends see your dad beat the stuff out of you. No, I, I've actually got no problem inviting friends over to watch me kick your ass. Well, set it up, baby boy. I'll be there. Boy, you cannot be serious about doing this. Dude, dad wouldn't leave for 50 grand. What makes you think a fight's gonna make him leave? Thanks, then. The guy is all ego. Okay? I hurt him, I humiliate him, and he leaves town and goes back to that rock he crawled up from under. You think so? That's worth a try. No, it's not. Not if it gets you hurt. I guess I better not get hurt. Dude, do you really think you can take him? Dude, look at me. I work out every single day, okay? I mean, who knew muscles were good for more than just looking at? James, let me do this for you, okay? Bobby, I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I just want him gone. You will be. Thanks, bro. Listen, I'm gonna go call mom because she thinks dad's gone, all right? Hey, wait. I'll, I'll go with you. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I forgot about Aaron. He'd totally be down to see a live fight. Yeah, Ford, Ford, this is crazy. There has to be some other way to get rid of your dad. Like what? Jail couldn't hold him. 50 grand couldn't buy him off. The only language this guy understands is violence. So that's why I have to fight him. Come on, for James. Well, I didn't know you knew how to fight. You do know your way around the ring, right? Ford, please tell me that you've boxed before. Not even in gym class. What? How do you expect to win? Honestly, I have no idea. Great. Hey, you okay? 
Yeah, the trainer said it was just a mild concussion. But you're lucky it could have been worse. I'm fine, Star, really. Well, that's good. At least one Ford brother will make it out of here in one piece. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? Oh, Lexington's just ticked about the whole mano a mano. Your brother here doesn't know how to fight, James. At all. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Um. What? Is she for real? Bobby, are you kidding me? What are you thinking, dude? Hello, everybody. Hey. What happened, James? Did your dad hit you again? Yeah, but I popped him first, so he'll probably just say it was self-defense. Well, unfortunately, that's not illegal. And neither is this uh, fight that your dad and Ford are planning. Let me guess. My mom told you about this, right? She doesn't like it. Neither do I. I don't like it so much now either, Bobby. You've been in the hospital, what, twice this year? You heard the saying, three strikes, you're out? Yeah, I never cared much for baseball. Uh, Would you please take this seriously, Ford? I am. Look, Commissioner, I appreciate what you've done for my brothers and for my mom, but I got a chance to get this SOB out of my brother's life, and I'm going to take it. All right. Where's Eddie now? Well, he's probably back at the apartment with a six-pack and a call girl. Oh, well, why? What are you going to do? Oh, I thought I'd just try to rattle his cage a little bit, see if I can do something so that he won't show, won't beat up his son. You see, I'm a father myself in this kind of thing. It just doesn't sit right with me. Thank you for watching out for me. It's the least I could do. If I hadn't distracted you, your dad wouldn't have been able to get that shot in. I just can't wait until he's gone. You know, Star, when, when I was fighting him, I really, I really wanted to kill him. I don't blame you. I really hope Bo can stop this fight from happening. Because if Eddie hurts you, I swear I'm going to go after that pig myself. I one of my guys work in a case not far from your apartment. I asked him to check and see if Eddie's car was in the parking lot. It's not there. You're kidding. Any idea where he might have gone? Well, no, since he's gotten here, all he does is follow me and James around. I don't know where he is.